In this episode of Toys Bags, I'm going to try to make a complete lion robot out of all of these pieces that I have here. I've got a robot here that's missing a red lion. And I've got a robot here that <laughs> is uh, missing a lot of chrome. He's missing pieces. The blue guy is missing pieces on his head. Um, the green lion has a broken leg. There's a piece off the black line here. I'm going to see if I can repair this. So I'm going to repair whatever I can on this. But I'm going to take everything that I have here and try to make the best of all the pieces that I can. Um, this black line has no uh, yellow tabs over his head. Where this one here does have one. So And that flips up like that. So I'm going to try to make one of those that's possible we're going to try to make it i guess anything is possible but we're going to try to make it uh make one um and then i also have most of the canopies i've got a blue canopy i've got a pink canopy for the yellow and i have a green canopy on this robot here but i'm missing the red canopy so i'm going to fabricate a canopy for the red line uh, and it, I'm pretty sure it's the same as the green one, just with different stickers. So we're going to see if we can do that. We've got some chrome paint to do. We've got some pieces to make. Let's see if we can make a cool figure. And I'm really excited to get this into my collection and have it displayable. So first of all, um, I'm looking at this robot here, and uh, this is the guy that was com that was uh, already put together, missing the red lion. And there is, if you've never taken these apart before, there is a way to take the lions out from the legs or from the hips and from the shoulders. And to do that, and s some people might just try to pull the lion out. They're held in there with their tail here. You can see how that's keyed like that. So what you need to do is you need to pull this piece here out of the shoulder. That unlocks the lions and allows you to pull them out. And then you can lock that back up. Similarly, the same thing you have to do with the legs. This part here pulls out and that releases the tail on the yellow lion. And if I can pull this one out. And there. That's probably never been taken out in a long time. And then that releases the tail. That tail is in there pretty good. It's almost in there too tight. <clears throat> so there you go. Now, when we look at these uh, these lions here that I just took apart, these are actually in much better condition, although they're not in great condition, but they're much better than the other toy that I have. If you look at that, the chrome is better, they're cleaner, the stickers are better, uh, the paint is better. So I'm going to probably take the... I'm going to take the right blue lion, but I'm also going to take, I'm going to take the canopy off of this guy. There's nothing to fix on the blue lions really, um, except for maybe the chrome. We're going to do some, we'll do all the chrome and paint work later on, but there's the canopy there. So I'm not going to snap that in, but uh, there's our blue lion. And now he's complete with the canopy. Let's take a look at the yellow lions. Again, we can look at the yellow lion. And this one is missing the sticker up here. But this guy on the left, the paint on his face is just much better. It's whiter. The chrome is better. So probably what I'm going to do is 
we're going to take the canopy from that came with this guy and I'm going to put it on the other figure. I don't see any broken pieces. The legs seem to be good. The tail is good. So we're going to use this canopy for him. I think what I'll do is I'll remove this sticker and apply it to this once I clean all this stickiness off. So there's my yellow lion. I only have one red lion. And uh, again, his legs are not broken. His tail is good. We do need to make the canopy. Green lion, this is the one with the canopy. But the other green lion doesn't have the canopy, but he does have a broken leg. So I'm forced to actually use this lion. Um, and he does have a good tail too. So, I mean, I could take these all apart and take the best parts off of them, but it seems to me like this lion all, all around is better. He even has the sticker on the top. So I'm going to take this green lion. That'll be the lion that we keep. And the next is the black lion. Now this one here is... When I got this, this is the one I got from the Micronauts lot that I bought. I also bought this guy with it. And uh, when I took it out of the box, there was something in there. And I believe it's probably the piece to put his <laughs> shoulder back on. So let's take this guy apart. Regardless of whether we're going to use... The, I'm probably going to be using this line. This one looks to be in much better condition. Plus he's got the ear tab here and his paint is whiter. They both have the red wings in the back and they both have the stickers and the tail. But I just think that this one here is better. It's got better better um, gold on the eyes too, the gold, the gold, um, the gold paint on the eyes is better, so I'm going to take this guy, but I still want to fix this guy because you never know. Somebody might want to hit buy him, and I want him to be together, so let's see how we can take him apart. So first, we need a really, it's not a small Phillips screwdriver, but it's just a thin Phillips. You want the, the shaft to be quite thin because there's four screws you have to take out to open this up. And uh, one of them is right here underneath the tail. And you need to be able to get that screwdriver right in there like that. I found that a larger screwdriver was just too big. And I didn't want to break the tail or actually mar it or scar it, scar the plastic. So I take that out. That one's a long screw. We want to keep track of the screws. They might be a different size. There's two screws up on the top shoulder. And if you pull the head out, there's a screw right there. Now that screw in the head is short, so we want to make sure we keep track of that. The other two screws, I'm not sure, because they're, they're not coming out, but let's see if we can get this thing open. Maybe that screw isn't out enough. There we go. And that's what we're... 
that is what was loose inside the black lion. Now, if we look inside the other shoulder here, we can see that we have this that holds the shoulder in, but there is a screw there and um, the screw is missing. I was hoping that would be inside this, but it's not. So over time, it must have fallen out of the hole here on the shoulder. So we're gonna have to find a new screw so that we can put this um, attachment piece for the shoulder back on. So I took the uh, other screw out and this one to check out to see how big the screw was. And I have a screw here that I found in a bin in my garage. This came out of a guitar pedal. It's a screw that holds the bottom of the guitar pedal. And if you know anything about boss pedals, boss effects pedals, these are the screws that will hold the pedals together. So if you have an old one that doesn't work, those screws will fit or it seems like it will, it's about the same size as that. So let's see if this will go in. So from what I can tell, take the clear piece, put it on the shoulder. That's got a ratchet in there. You can see that, how it's ratcheted there. And then this screw should hold that together. And then you fit that back into the body like that and it holds it in and we put that back together. And all we have to do is put those screws back in. So remember, the short one for the neck. The two for the shoulder. I got one already in there. And the shoulder screws are the same as the one near the tail. So... You don't have to worry about those. It's just a neck one that's short. <clears throat> and that's how you open up the black lion so that you can repair him. nice but like I said I'm not gonna be using this one I'm going to be using this one much better paint much better chrome I want to go through it though to make sure that everything is working yeah everything's so much tighter in this one got the tail Oh yeah, the chrome on those legs are really nice. Got the head in there, if you want to see the head. But otherwise, he looks really great. So, so there's all my lines. Now that I've picked the lines that I want to work with, now I've got to make this piece, and we're going to make the canopy for the red lion and do a little paintwork and some chrome. Let's get started making this. We have 11 millimeters by nine millimeters by 11. So 11 by nine by 11. It's 
12 millimeters wide. Now it's 12 millimeters wide here because this actually clips in. But down here, it's only 11 millimeters. While that paint is drying, I'm going to uh, take the stickiness off of uh, the yellow line here. Let's do that. Alright, 
so we're gonna try to get this number five sticker off without damaging it. Let's use lighter fluid again and we'll very carefully try to pull it off. Here we go, we'll let that dry and we'll apply it to the other line. Just have to be patient and uh, <laughs> not want to do it for every sticker, <laughs> that's for damn sure. But uh, I think it'll be worth having this sticker because it's very important, it's got the number five on it. Next, I have to get on to painting some of the white on the lions and doing the chrome. Let's get all the white painted on the lions. I'll film the red lion getting painted at least, and then we'll film uh, the green lion getting the chrome painted so that you can see how it looks. And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when everything is painted. So I cleaned the red lion and it's ready for paint. I'm just using this satin acrylic paint. I found this at my local party store and it seems to be pretty good paint. It doesn't quite cover as well as the Vallejo paint, but I find that the paints are uh, easier to mix for my color mixing. So, I'm just going to use a little bit of that paint and I didn't add anything to it. We're just gonna try to clean up all of this white here. I'm going to do this to the rest of the lions. Let's do some black. It'll be mostly the noses. All right, now that my earpiece for the black lion is dried and I put a little varnish on it, some satin varnish, 
Although I feel that this plastic is a, a little bit more glossy than satin. I probably could have put a, a glossy finish on it, but let's just put these back on. You'll notice that I did make a piece that is pretty close to the original. And all that was made out of styrene. So to put these in, you have to put one side in like this and then slide the other one down. And then what it does is it, because of this extra piece here, it clicks in and you can pull it with this piece here and then it opens up like that like that so here's our new piece this is the repro piece that i made clicks in the same way and and it fits so i think that's a pretty good recreation and uh, it's going to look great on the shelf So in the next video, part two, because this is getting really long, we're going to be uh, painting the chrome on all of these figures. And that's going to take about three weeks for it to dry. So while those three weeks are going by, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to be making the canopy. And then I'll show you how to do that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends or anybody who you might think might enjoy watching this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for new videos and comment down below. And let me know what you think of this toy. Is this something that you had as a child? And uh, what do you think of this repair? Thanks for watching. Bye.